All right, guys, so I'm here to make a super quick video just covering the changes, the nerfs, and the buffs that are coming into the game for Windwalker on September 17th. So a lot of people have been kind of blowing up over these changes, and they're really worried about the um, strengths of Windwalker and um, just seeing a little bit of a burst nerf as well with the Shadow Pen proc. So we're going to break it down for you guys and kind of give you a real uh, idea of what it's going to be looking like on reset. So right off the bat, we're going to take a look at the Darting Hurricane changes. So... Darting Hurricane is the ability that works in with your Strike of the Windlord and damage procs that allows you to weave abilities between your Tiger Palm at a reducted cooldown. So um, the passive trigger rate is being reduced by 50% of this. So if you look right here, your damaging spells and abilities have a chance to grant one stack of Darting Hurricane. So that's using pretty much any ability has a chance to give you one stack of this at random. So that proc rate is going to be reduced by 50%. And also just looking here um it now reduces the global cooldown by 0.25 seconds instead of 0.5 so that's um a, quite a sizable nerf to the global uh, global cooldown with uh, darting hurricane so we might not really be playing this talent anymore and we could be looking to use it in a slot such as zuin's battle gear or touch of the tiger for more tiger palm damage so i'll um keep that updated with my talent tree on the twitch at twitch.tv slash theory moving forward um from what we decide to play so um off of that guys so as you guys know with um shadow pan we have a capstone talent called wisdom of the wall so every 10 flurry strikes you become infused with one of the following four effects and they last for 20 seconds but the shadow uh the shadow proc actually lasts for 40 seconds so um you get crit strike damage dodge um and crit chance increased by 25 percent your versatility bonus or 25% um, mastery and the shadow proc. So the shadow proc is the thing that's actually getting nerfed. It's not just baseline flurry strike. So I think some people are reading that nerf as just a baseline uh, flurry strike proc nerf, but it only is going to be affecting the shadow proc of um, the wisdom of the wall here. So the wisdom of the wall shadow proc is actually very, very strong right now. Sometimes if I have an overlap of the wisdom of the wall buff, say I have like crit dam increase or mastery increase or something, and I have a 40 second flurry strike shadow damage proc up at the same time i can sometimes get a proc of the shadow to do up to like 70 percent of an opponent's hp in an arena so it is very very strong so i'm not necessarily that surprised that it's getting hit with a little nerf but i do feel like there are some outliers in the games uh, in the game right now that are being ignored and definitely not tuned accordingly to what's going on right now so i don't really feel like when walker was an issue as it stands right now so that changes like I kind of understand it and I don't at the same time if that makes sense so um, outside of that we do have a little buff of strike of the wind lord now to offset that um, burst nerf that we're getting from the wisdom wall shadow uh, shadow proc so as you see right now guys communion with the wind damage is no longer reduced in pvp it was reduced by 50 percent prior so that's this talent right here just right above um, darting hurricane so Strike of the Windlord damage is going to be increased by 100% PvP instead of just 50% now. So that's a very sizable nerf, or sorry, sizable buff to our Strike of the Windlord because that ties in really well with um, Gale Force. On top of that, we also have Thunderfist coming outside of the Strike of the Windlord. So Strike of the Windlord is looking like a really powerful button now post changes, and I do feel like these changes, guys, they won't affect us that much. So don't be worrying about Windwalker too much and. If you guys do have any other questions about the changes, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or follow the Twitch at twitch.tv slash theory. Thank you guys for checking out the little uh, video here just talking about the changes to give you some more clarity on Windwalker moving forward. So yeah, thanks again. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.